Hello Facebook and YouTube, it is I, Nathan Russell Smith, Finley slash Evil Dead 2 fan, here today to finally talk about something Evil Dead related on my channel. And that is, of course, the 7-inch Ash Williams hero figure from NECA's Ash vs. Evil Dead figure line. And here he is, out of his box, looking extra groovy. So, we're going to take a second to look at the packaging and then move on to the figure itself. And here's the case. It's the standard neck affair. You have a wonderful large display window of the figure and his accessories, which I have taken out. At the bottom, we have a Star's original series, Ash vs. Evil Dead, Ash Williams' hero figure, plus a picture of Bruce Campbell as Ash. We're going to take a slight detour because I'd like to talk about the title of this figure. Originally, when this was being shown at uh, Comic-Con and other different places, this figure was uh, originally called El Jefe, which in Spanish, if you don't know, means the boss. And for some reason, when NECA made the official release, they changed this figure's title from El Jefe to Hero. And I guess that's because this is just the standard way that Ash looks throughout the series and is sort of just the way he's looked since the end of Evil Dead 2 with the shotgun harness and chainsaw hand. So I can understand that, but I myself would have preferred this figure to be called El Jefe. That's just my two cents on that. On the bottom we have the normal legal guff and such like that. On the sides you have Ash vs. Evil Dead. You even have that at the top, plus more legal stuff. And on the back we have a wonderful arrangement of pictures of the figure in different poses, the other two figures in the wave, the demon, value shop Ash, and a tiny little blurb on what's going on in the world of Ash vs. Evil Dead. If you'd like to read that, please pause the video. Other than that, that's the packaging, and I am going to move on to Ash himself. So here he is, Ash, the hero from the skies, the king, El Jefe. And he looks fantastic. It's the normal NECA standard. We're going to take a look at his shotgun harness first because that's where a majority of the detail lies. So the belts have been redone very, very well. Though this has more of a black wash to it than in the show where it has a blackish, brown, aged sort of vibe to it. But it still serves its purpose and it looks fan friggin -tastic. Turning to the back, we see the rest of the detail carries over from the front, where the shotgun fits snugly into its main pouch here. Two little problems that occurred when I was uh, first handling this figure. As you can see, the strap on the back does not connect all the way with his belt right here, and when I first took it out of the packaging, it was loose and floppy, so I had to super glue it down. And then the second handle on the chainsaw, this black one here, kept popping out, so I just super glued that back in place. Speaking of the chainsaw and shotgun, let's take a look at those accessories a little bit more close up. And here's the chainsaw hand. NECA has done just a wonderful job at recreating this little guy. There is a lot of dirt and grime painted onto it. It looks just fan friggin tastic uh, the only real paint problems I can see is that the little metal connectors right here are red instead of silver the gas and oil caps have been switched and that is making me wonder if this is a repainted slightly redone version of the Evil Dead 2 chainsaw. If so, it's totally fine because NECA did add the detail of the taped handle and it's still just fantastic and looks great on the figure when it's all said and done. Of course, Ash can't go anywhere without his trusty boomstick. This has a lot of wonderful detail. Unfortunately, the trigger on mine broke off when I was taking it out of his hand. That's something I'm going to get to in just a little bit. Other than that, the detail on this shotgun is fantastic. Next up in the accessories is Ash's second robotic hand, as built by Pablo. The detail on this is just as wonderful as it is on the chainsaw, and I really enjoy putting this on Ash from time to time. In fact, I'm going to show you how to do that as it's a really easy, quick change. So what you do is you just take your Ash figure, you take this section of his arm, and it just pops right off. And the second arm, pop it right into place. Boom, bam! Ash has a second robotic hand. Now, I'm going to give you a bit of a warning. Putting the 
arm on after taking the first one off, it can be a bit finicky, as with most NECA figures that have that sort of alternate swapping parts. The joints can be a bit stiff, and the ports won't always fit in the first time, so you got to really mess with it to kind of get it in there. But you want to be careful because you don't want to break those joints. Other than that, the robotic hand looks awesome, and we have a second part for the chainsaw, which is this. This is the wrist cuff to Ash's robotic hand, and this pops right on the back of the chainsaw. And then, ta-da! You've got the more late season one and early season two look for Ash. This really does add an entirely new level of uh, display options for him, and it looks really really great when put together, and I really like the fact that NECA added that in there. So before we get on to the last accessory, which is Ash's swappable head, I wanted to take a second to talk about the shotgun hand. As I said before, it was fiddling around with this hand that caused the trigger to break off my Ash's boomstick. The plastic that makes up this hand is a bit stiff, and you have to slightly fight it to put the shotgun in the hand, so just be careful. That's my little PSA. Let's get on to the last accessory, which is Ash's swappable head. So before we talk about the second head, let's talk about the first. This is a really great head sculpt, in my opinion. The other figures we've gotten of Ash, we had Miss Ash in the pit, and that was a very action-oriented face, and then every other one after that, which was the Evil Dead 2 line, had a more sort of questioning look and to have a, a very composed, hero-looking Ash, in my opinion, looks great. It adds another level to this figure's character, as you can put him in a very action-oriented stance, as I had at the beginning, and he just looks great. Some people complain that this figure has a bit too saggy of skin, and that it looks like Bruce Campbell at points. I personally think that this captures older more modern day Bruce Campbell fantastically and it's NECA's normal quality of perfection. The fact that there are little flicks of gray on the sides it just adds even more to this figure's already great quality. And like most NECA figures you just pop off the head, put on the new one, and here is the action oriented Ash. It just looks fantastic. As you can see, he's gritting his teeth. He has a cut on the side of his cheek. The chin scar is a little bit more prominent, but this one really looks like uh, Bruce Campbell in a fighting stance and really adds to the figure when he's put in a really dynamic pose. When standing next to his other NECA comrades, Ash may be a bit short, but he still looks fantastic. So what's my final thoughts on this guy? Fantastic fantastic figure. If you are unable to pick up any other Evil Dead figures out of NECA's lines, I highly suggest picking him up. He's wonderfully articulated. His accessories are just beyond fantastic. Not only that, but everything else about him is exactly what an Evil Dead fan like myself wants in an Ash Williams figure. Well, that's it for this review. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and check out my channel. There's a lot more to see there. I'm Nathan Russell Smith, the only slash Evil Dead 2 fan, and I will see you all in the next video.